hours away from tonight's tip-off for Tulsa's own ORU Golden Eagles as they take on the Duke Blue Devils. It's all happening at the NCAA Basketball Tournament in Orlando. That is where we find uh, 2 News Oklahoma Sports Director Katie McFarland. Katie, it's a pretty big day for the Golden Eagles and you and Caffeine as well. Did you get any sleep, my friend? What's going on? <laughs> I got enough sleep. I'm ready to go on a day like this. Who needs sleep? Good morning from here in Orlando, high atop a hotel that I can't remember the name of, right across the street from the Amway Center, and that's where it's all going down. This is the day ORU versus Big Bad Duke. Exciting not only because of that name Duke, a name as synonymous with college basketball success as any other program in the country over the last 30 years or so, but exciting because we honestly and earnestly believe this Golden Eagles team can win this thing tonight. My goodness, big reason for all of that. We got a chance to hear from both teams in press conferences yesterday, see both teams in an open practice. This group is so veteran. We had said earlier this week, the average age of the starting five for this ORU squad actually one year older than the average age of the starting five for the Oklahoma City Thunder. One of those veterans Patrick Mwamba, guy I got a chance to speak with for the first time ever yesterday, native of the Congo, has 12 brothers and sisters, and he is the first member of the NBA's Africa Academy to get a scholarship, a Division I scholarship here in the States, played four years at UT Arlington, had a good run, was starting and playing a lot, but for his final season of college ball, more than catching the attention of NBA scouts or anything else, he wanted to win. He wanted to make it to this moment, the NCAA tournament, be a part of March Madness. He knew about what ORU had done two years ago and told Paul Mills, I will do whatever it takes. He's one of a handful of guys for this ORU squad that do the dirty work. Yes, definitely. That's what makes this team special because it's not about scoring. It's not about who are going to put a lot of points. It's about who are going to put himself on the line to, to win, to get a rebound, to take charges, you know. And that's the type of stuff the team needs to win. And I know we're ready. We know we came here to, to do a job and we, we're ready to do that. Back in Africa, you knew the NBA. Did you know Duke basketball at all? Oh, definitely, definitely. In in everywhere, I, I think everywhere in the world, people just know about Duke and Kentucky, you know. And we, I knew about Duke to be on this place and to to play them is a is a good thing for for us. At the same time, we're gonna show them we're gonna be we're here to win. Yeah, that was the message from every player we talked to yesterday. They are here to win. They're not here to talk about Duke. They're here to talk about Oral Roberts. This is a veteran and confident bunch, Justin. Yeah, obviously a big day, but when you're playing Duke and that you have that, that first win in this tournament, especially at being Duke, what does that mean for their, their mental going into the next game and the rest of the uh, tournament? Yeah, what would a win over Duke mean? Uh, it is hard to wrap your arms around that and quantify it. We have seen just how much they have been able to build on the success of two years ago. Big old athletic building that's go going in right now in uh, the parking lot of the Maybe Center. Fundraising on the rise. ORU has certainly built on that success of two years ago, but this thing begins to snowball in a hurry. If you can win in this moment on this stage, it instantly becomes the story of this tournament on day one. And I think going forward, whether Paul Mills is the head coach of this program or not, ORU really has a chance to solidify itself as one of those special programs that doesn't have big time college football, but is all in completely committed to college basketball and a program where I think a lot of coaches look at it and say, I think I can succeed there. They can, they can most certainly raise the profile of this program as much as they ever have with any victory if you're able to beat Big Bad Duke. That's, that's the opportunity at stake here tonight in Orlando.